My name is Stacey Burke and I'm an Outreach Advocate for 360 Communities Lewis House. An Outreach Advocate is working with individuals who are experiencing domestic or sexual violence but aren't staying at either one of our shelters. So they're still living in their community, living in their own home, but they're experiencing these issues and would like support. So I am office out of the Apple Valley Police Department and because of this I do have a really strong working relationship with that department. I'm right there in the building so if there's something that's immediately going on or there's someone in the lobby who wants information about a restraining order or who wants to make a police report, they can just walk right up to my office, say hey can you come down or they'll bring someone up to my office and we can meet right there. But it definitely helps us get connected with people faster than we normally would. And so for law enforcement, we're able to come in and meet the needs of the victim on a much more intimate level than they are. They have their role and they recognize that we have our role and that if they include us, we're going to have more wraparound services for them to create a more holistic approach to what they are experiencing. Before we had Ranger and I would be in law enforcement interviews with the victims in their first reporting, it's an uncomfortable experience. For many of them, this is the first time they're ever telling someone about what's happened to them. And I can be there, and I can give them information, I can give them a breakdown of what's going to be happening during this process or afterwards, but there's some things I can't do. Same with the court hearing. If you go into a courtroom, everyone's uncomfortable. Even the people who work there get nervous about going into that courtroom. It's just kind of the way it's built, the way it's constructed, gives people some anxiety. And so when you're in a courtroom, we can't really be discussing. So there's not much that I can say to someone in the actual room that's going to help relieve some of that anxiety. The very first thing is his presence just makes people's day. As soon as they see him, they start smiling. And so there's just that instant change in mood that people experience. He can do different things like laying on someone's feet to ground them in the moment. The pressure helps them stay focused on what's happening and not think so much about the traumatic experience. The actual physical act of petting a dog, it helps reduce anxiety. And this is scientifically proven that petting a dog does that. He also is able to address an emotional aspect that I can't. In law enforcement interviews or in the courtroom, we can't talk. And so I'm not able to say, hey, it's gonna be okay. But Ranger looking up at them with his big brown eyes, he's able to tell them without speaking, it's gonna be okay. And so he's filling in a gap that no person would be able to do. There was a young girl, she was under the age of seven who um, had been abused and was possibly going to have to testify at a jury trial. And so in order to prepare her for that moment, the prosecutor wanted to introduce her to the courtroom when it was empty, just make her comfortable with the space. So leading up to that day when we were going to bring her into a courtroom, we had her meet Ranger so that they would be able to have a bond together. She got to walk him around outside, play ball with him, so that she was able to see him as someone who was trustworthy. Um, when we went into the courtroom and we're sh was showing her where everyone would sit, where she would sit, she was very shy and she's typically a really outgoing person, but you could tell she was uncomfortable with it. There was one point where the prosecutor wanted her to speak into the microphone like she would if she had to testify and she was refusing to say anything. No matter what we asked her, you know, sing your favorite song, no matter what it was, she didn't want to do it. And then I thought, well, how about you tell Ranger to sit or tell him to do a trick so we can give him a treat. And that's how she started talking into the microphone. And then she discovered that she loved talking into the microphone and we couldn't get her to stop. And so Ranger was able to make this a positive experience so that if she did have to go into a jury trial, she now has a positive association with that room. For people who maybe weren't engaging with us, like officers that weren't engaging with us as much before, I think it's only strengthened our partnership because they will to talk to you. different Very people in the dog. community and they'll say, oh, I think you should reach out to this person and did you know she has a dog? Um, and it's been something that they've been able to use to encourage people to reach out for services. It's encouraged them to come to me. They're looking for Ranger, but then through that, they have to talk to me. And so we're able to build deeper partnerships. We're able to connect more.
we're looking at the bigger picture. And by doing that, we're able to have more successful situations where people are stable in every aspect of their life. And with that, we're engaging with different community partners. We're building better relationships. We're creating new services like Ranger um, that's pushing us forward, pushing our clients forward.